What's up, freaks and geeks? It's your boy Chris with Flip the World. Today's video, Ben's on a budget. I wanna show you how to strategize and have a game plan so when you go into the Goodwill outlet or the Ben's as they call it, you're not confused, distracted, or stressed out because it can be overwhelming. And if you've never been to a Goodwill outlet and you have one near you, hopefully this video will help you make it to where it's not so overwhelming to you. If you're used to just going to the stores and you can pick things up and look at them, blah, 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 this is a different animal. There's a lot of different types of people that go to the uh, bins, but I wanna help you strategize and show you that it doesn't matter what time you go, because I hear everybody say, oh, you gotta get there when it opens. Not true. I don't even know what I'm gonna get yet, but I can guarantee you, I find stuff. Now, it's about 9.30 in the morning. Before we go to the bins, we always have to get our Mi Sombrero. It's a lucky breakfast. It's just a spot we go to, but after this uh, video, hopefully you will be uh, a little better educated on how to survive and how to thrive at the Goodwill outlet. Let's get that breakfast. No, I'm not superstitious. I'm a little stitious, but Every time that we have breakfast here before the bins, I always get good shit. Thanks. All right, now that we got grub in our belly, we'll go ahead and head to the first location. This is the furthest one from our house. We like to go here first and then work our way back to our side of town. Uh, it's about 1045. So again, they open at eight. So not here when they open. I wanted to film what a new row coming out looks like because if you are a new person to the outlets and that's the first thing you see when you walk in, you're probably going to turn around and just walk out and be like, nah, F that. But promise, promise, stick through the video. We'll get through this together. So I got an empty row away from people, so I just kind of wanted to go through what they have. So they usually separate all the toys. So if you're into action figures or reselling toys, you can go through here. There's plush. And then what I consider to be the nightmare at the bins is the clothes because they just throw them all in piles. You have to dig, look for brands, people fight, people just throw them on top of each other. If you're a new to the outlets person, I would say avoid this unless clothes is what you sell nonstop or by itself. But uh, yes, you can find great stuff here, but this is where it takes the most time. If you're into books, this is great. They separate the books. You literally just turn them over. Use your scanner. You don't even have to have like a, an actual scanner. You can use Scout IQ. You can directly use the Amazon app, but you just scan the barcodes. If you get your little ding notification that it's money, throw it in your basket. More toys. This is toys, plush, and miscellaneous. And then, you know, people always throw random things back into any bucket if you're into hard goods there's picture frames office supplies knickknacks things like that you can always pick up always clothes tons of clothes and then you got electronics so here's a combo player you know there's a printer there's a rug this is a like a cpu for a gamer it's got fans always have tons of dvds again turn them over scan make the money throw it in your basket good to go um a lot of this stuff, like books and DVDs, there's usually not a, pe a lot of people that go through them. So that would be a great place to just kind of intro to the bins. They usually put the handbags, backpacks, and purses all in their own separate bin. Now these are also a section where people go crazy. So watch yourself on here. This was kind of a fun one because I always say scan anything that's new in package. I was going to film this as a joke, and then I saw that it was selling for like $35 to $45, so I definitely got that. Uh, here is something that I wanted to just point out as a tip. 
I uh, found this Bell coffee maker. I went ahead and looked up the model. It's complete. And when I typed it into eBay, as you see, it sells for $54.95, free shipping. So, eh, it's risky. What I would rather do is just take the carafe, which sells for $39. So that's exactly what I did. I just took the carafe and I left the coffee maker because this is lighter. It'll be easier and cheaper to ship and I don't have to worry about testing the big machine. So strategy wise, if you're new to the bins and you are a clothes reseller, just know that the majority of the bins are going to be closed, but it's also going to be where the most competition is. So Maybe those are the people that need to get there early because the bins will be fresh and you can be digging right away. Um, but if you sell anything you can make money on, I would start with your books, DVDs, hard goods, and toys, and then go pick through some of the clothes bins that people have already gone through because you'll still find stuff. Um, but I would say out of all the different things you can find at the bins, clothing is going to be the number one thing that almost everyone there is trying to find. All right, next stop, we're going to go ahead and head over to the second outlet, which is closer to our house. This one, I usually find more shoes at, so I kind of like going to this one. Also, it's closer to the house, so it lets me know that the day is almost over, which by this time, I'm kind of over people, so it works out great for me. I didn't really film a lot in here just because it was really packed and I wanted to find some stuff not only to make some money but to also showcase in the video because this was about one o'clock and I think we were there till about 2 30 so it wasn't first uh, but they were bringing out consistent rows and I don't ever battle people when the new rows of shoes come out but I'll show you what I got I kind of just filmed this while I was waiting in line just so you could see that I was still at the Goodwill bins. Uh, those were the 91 flights. These are the Fred Flintstone Nikes I got. Um, I found these uh, Tigers, the Onisaki Asics Tigers. Those are Ultimate 81s. Some Air Max. So back home, the yellow bag is from the first outlet and the second bag, the blue bag, is from the close one to the house. So I want to say it was, what is that, 26, 21 at the first store, and I think 33 even at the second store. So here I've pulled out the actual 16 items that I picked up. The Nikes, both pairs, some Bionics, some Dansko. You saw the Asics. There's the Ass Wipe Assist. Um, this is a wagon walk. It's a vintage toy. It works. Uh, some New Balance, the Air Max, and then these are some vintage hats. There's a WrestleMania new with tags hat, and then these Steel Toe Industrial Chemical Boots. I'll probably sell those local, and then there's the carafe. So total is 16 items, and then I'll show you how I get my buy cost and actually how much I spent. So there's the two receipts, 19 total items, seven of them were resale, and at this second location, 15 total items and nine were resale. So I'll bust out the calculator, the first location, we spent $26.21 divided by the total number of items got, which was 19, gives me $1.37 per item is what I spent, times the seven items for resale. So $9.65 is actual buy cost for the resale items from the first store. Second store, we spent $33. We got 15 items, that's $2.20 per item. Nine of those are resale, so $19.80. So it's $19.80 plus $9.65. I did $9.85. It's 20 cents. But anyway, $29.65 total divided by total 16 of items is $1.85 by cost. All right, y'all. Back home. As you can see, we survived. Uh, I want to say we were at the first location for about an hour and a half. 
and then we booked it over to the other location which is closer by our house and we were there probably about an hour but as you can see it's what close to three o'clock now uh still found i think better or higher profit margin at the second location which we got to around one o'clock so again it doesn't matter what time you get there just get there have your game plan stick to it and don't get caught up in the melee because most of the people there that are just grabbing stuff they're selling at flea markets and yard sales or they're sending them back um, to family but I mean results don't lie second location I found these Nike Fred Flintstones I'll pull up right here again just so you can see easy and I'm gonna list under that so again when people are all like, you gotta get there early, when it, when, when it first opens up, man, you gotta be the first guy in line or you're not gonna find nothing. It's just not true. There's money everywhere. Don't be scared to go out and make yours. But this is a nice little haul. I think it is, as the video showed, I wanna say it's 16 pieces. And after you add up the, the receipts and divide by the number of stuff that's actually being sold, I'm looking at $1.85 buy cost. If I sell these for 130, which is $50 less than the last sold, and they move quick, my buy cost is $1.85. So I can take that $20 discount and I don't even, you know, I'm not gonna break a sweat about it. These 1991 Nike Air Flight Sabres, pff, second location. And the vintage kids were there. Slept on them. So. There's money out there. Go ahead and tell me what your best flip or your best find from the bins is. And again, if you've never been to a Goodwill outlet and you have one in your area, pop in. Hopefully this video gave you a little bit of a, uh, a strategy so you can take care of business. And remember, scared money, don't make money. Real quick, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that's already subscribed. If you're new to my channel and this is the first video you saw, hopefully it'll get you to hit the like or the subscribe or even the bell um, I appreciate it I'm really trying to put out good content uh, I'm not polished I'm very tarnished but I'm sincere and I want to see you succeed as well as for you to see me succeed because then you know that I'm not just full of shit but like share subscribe um, I don't care what you comment if you think I'm great awesome thank you if you think I suck I need to get butt naked and go play in traffic while eating Laffy Taffy go ahead and leave that in the comments too because good bad or indifferent it's all fucking hilarious to me thank you again